speech therapy is helping kids and adults learn how to communicate their thoughts and ideas and get their point across so that others can understand them. Speech language pathology is versatile. You can work with kids, with adolescents, with adults, with the elderly. I chose it probably because I had a speech impediment as a kid. I couldn't say my R's and I know what it feels like um, to not want to talk, to feel embarrassed, not confident in what I could do. It's true, there's not a lot of males in this profession. A huge population of children with communication disorders are boys and they seem to respond well to someone who went through the same things that they did, someone they can look up to, someone they can feel comfortable with. The positive aspects of this job is that you get to see growth. You get to see the results of what you're doing benefiting someone else. I think in the health professions, a lot of times you kind of have to get in and out and move on to the next patient or client. And with speech therapy, you really get to take the time to get to know who you're working with. You see them on a regular basis and you, you get to create that bond. The drawbacks with working with people is they might not recover like you would hope. And you put your heart into helping them regain their ability to communicate or to swallow. And sometimes they can't or they don't. You do have to deal with the paperwork, filling out forms for kids who are in speech and keeping up with their progress notes and all of that. And the other negative aspect that I've found is that sometimes there are difficult parents that you have to deal with a bit. I have found that being a speech language pathologist, you have to be a really good listener. You would think by the name of my profession that I'm talking all the time. I'm not. I'm trying to get others to. You have to be able to get along well with a vast group of people from different backgrounds, different cultures, different disorders. I think it would be important advice if you're thinking about speech language pathology to go shadow a speech therapist. I would also recommend making sure that your grades are good for undergrad because to get into a graduate program has gotten to be fairly competitive. But the good news is that once you graduate, you have job opportunities all the time. I get job offers once a week, twice a week. I probably get three to four phone calls a day asking me if I'm free to work. I got a job offer yesterday for Florida. Last week I got a job offer in Tennessee. The week before I got two in Michigan. Two weeks before that I got three job offers. Like literally every week I get called. And there was one week in there that I didn't get a call. There's, there's not enough of us to do the work that needs to be done. My favorite thing about this profession is impacting lives. And communication is so human, it's so important. When you have a child come into you and it can only speak in H's and vowels, and have them a year or two later walk out of your office being able to speak like, you know, their other friends in kindergarten, that is a great feeling.